hundreds of scientists debunk Darwin's theory of evolution. Over 500 scientists have come together to officially denounce Darwinism, claiming his theory of evolution is false and based on bad science. In a paper entitled A Scientific Descent from Darwinism, scientists have thrown serious doubt on natural selection's ability to create complex biological systems. According to one of the scientists, biochemist Chris Williams of Ohio State University, quote, as a biochemist and software developer who works in genetic and metabolic screening, I'm continually amazed by the incredible complexity of life. For example, each of us has a vast computer program of 6 billion DNA bases in every cell that guided our development from a fertilized egg, specifies how to make more than 200 tissue types and ties all this together in numerous highly functional organ systems. Few people outside of genetics or biochemistry realize that evolutionists still can provide no substantial, no substantive details at all about the origin of life and particularly the origin of genetic information in the first self-replicating organism. What genes did it require or did it even have genes? How much DNA and RNA did it have or did it even have any nucleic acids, nucleic acids? How did huge information-rich molecules arise from natural selection? Exactly how did genetic code linking nucleic acids to amino acid sequence originate? Clearly, the origin of life, the foundation of evolution, is still virtually all speculation and little if no fact." End quote. Collective Evolution reports, although this seems to be ongoing and new information has emerged, I'd like to have a discussion about it. We're dealing with a controversial topic here, one that has some scientists reprimanding, or reprimanded for going against it in some cases. This theory is really being pushed hard on the scientific community, which could be the reason why these scientists chose to voice their concern in such a manner. It's being taught in some cases in schools as fact. Although the list is an old one, it goes to show that this thought is out there and this type of thinking is clearly legitimate and exists for several reasons. There are multiple theories out there which we should be discussing. Take for example Francis Crick, a Nobel Prize winning co-discoverer of the DNA double helix. As Greg Braden points out, Crick developed that life's building blocks have to be the result of something more than random mutations, a quirk of nature. Crick risked his reputation as a scientist by publicly stating, quote, an honest man armed with all the knowledge available to us now could only state that in some sense, the origin of life appears at the moment to be almost a miracle, end quote. In the scientific world, this statement is the equivalent of heresy, suggesting that something more than chance evolution led to our existence. Crick is one of many scientists who believe that intelligence intervention has something to do with it and also postulated an extraterrestrial hypothesis. Greg Braden makes another great point. The feeling that there's something more to our story is not just a recent phenomenon. Archaeological discoveries show that almost universally from an ancient Mayan Popol Vuh and the indigenous traditions of the American desert southwest to the roots of the world's major religions, ancient humans felt connected to more than just their immediate surroundings. They sense that we have our roots in other worlds, some that we can't even see. It wasn't long ago when Apollo 15 pilot Alfred Warden stated, we are the aliens, but we just think there's somebody else. But we're the ones who came from somewhere else because somebody else had to survive and they got in a little spacecraft and they came here and they landed and they started civilization here. That's what I believe. And if you don't believe me, go get books on the ancient Sumerians and see what they had to say about it and they'll tell you right up front. At the end of the day, we simply have to ask ourselves, why is it becoming more and more difficult to question things? People live in a state of fear and feel worried about how they would be perceived these days for taking a particular view, be it on human evolution, vaccines, whichever. 
As a chemist, the most fascinating issue for me revolves around the origin of life. Before life began, there was no biology, only chemistry. And chemistry is the same for all time. What works or not today, worked or not back in the beginning. So our ideas about what happened on Earth prior to the emergence of life are eminently testable in the lab. And what we have seen thus far when the reactions are left unguided as they would be in the natural world is not much. Indeed, the decomposition reactions and competing reactions outdistance the synthetic reactions by far. It's only when an intelligent agent, such as a scientist or graduate student, intervenes and tweaks the reactions conditions just right, do we see any progress at all, and even then it's still quite limited and very far from what we need to get. Thus, it is the very chemistry that speaks of a need for something more than just time and chance. And whether that be simply a highly specified set of initial conditions that is fine-tuning, or some form of continual guidance until life ultimately emerges is still unknown. But what we do know is the random chemical reactions are both woefully insight insufficient and are often working against the pathways needed to succeed. For these reasons, I have serious doubts about whether the current Darwinian paradigm will ever make additional progress in this area. This is a quote from Edward Peltzer, PhD, Oceanography, University of California, San Diego, Scripps Institute, Associate Editor, Marine Chemistry. Mainstream education reaches us, teaches us that 99% of DNA links is indicative of where we come from, but we share approximately 65% of our DNA with a banana. What does that mean? Human beings aren't stupid, and this is why in 2014, a Gallup poll revealed that the United States alone, in the United States, almost half of the population believe there's something more to the origins of human existence than the two options that are constantly presented to the masses. They believe there is something more than Darwin's theory of evolution. This tells us that human intuition is pointing us towards something more and some of the greatest scientific minds agree. It's also very important to mention the fact that multiple discoveries continue to be left off the record. The discovery of giant skeletons is just an excellent example of that. The point is, there are still many questions left unanswered and still many discussions to be had, especially about the ancient giant skeletons. I agree there. This by Sean Adelton on your newswire.